well today <coughs> today the chemical for <coughs> the chemtrail forecast man is uh very clear man like strangely clear this is about clear as it gets these days I mean you can still see if you look straight at the horizon you see a little bit of, of white chalky haze eh, you no know, you can see it all the way up but I mean it's still pretty clear and blue but there still is, you can see the chalky haze, man. If you really try hard enough to look at it, the best place to see it is right here in this area, right above the horizon. The, uh, looking straight up isn't, that's where you can see, uh, if you see it like, look, when it's clear and then you see it white like that over there, up here, uh, I think we've probably got big problems. You're, uh, you're saturated heavily in the chemicals. But, uh, Oh, there's the sun dog spot. See if I can catch one today by one of these random floater by clouds. Because around here, somewhere around in here, there's a sun dog spot up there. You know what I'm saying? I'm not sure what's going on if they're not shooting it with some scaler uh, or uh, or what. But there's definitely a pattern I, I'm noticing to emerge with sun dog uh, chemtrails. And the Kembos, I think uh, the Kembos are just another kind of sun dog. Uh, so, stuff to look into. I, I, I ain't known about this very long. So, now thinking back on it, all them times I've seen them uh, sun dogs uh, over the past few years. I mean, not all sun dogs you, do you get, uh, you know, the glowing dancing effect. Some of them just kind of like sit there. I like, it's kind of weird, man. It's kind of almost like, it really does look like, like someone's got a big magnifying glass somewhere in their magnifying glass. And they're just condensing the sunbeams and beaming them into certain spots. Like, just, you, you just think about that. Like, here's something crazy. About a week ago, I seen this cold front coming across from the west towards the east. And it was going all, across all of America. And then I seen this depression, impression, something out in the, right off the coast, right by Washington, right by South Carolina, North Carolina, and there was a big bunch of air circulating in a circle, and I was, I was sitting there with my buddy, man, and uh, I was like, man, it looks like, I goes, man, if any disasters happen in the next week, it looks like they, like they, uh, Use the fucking uh the weather modification machine or something, and, and look, and here it comes. They, they they now they're warning of a of a uh, of a hurricane coming into Washington, and I mean, with the Pope leaving, that'll be like the judgment of the Pope of us not accepting the Pope. Now we'll get punishment from the hurricane that they created with the weather machines. Basically, I mean that's one of my theories that's going on right now. A lot of these are theories and hypothesizations, man. So, uh, you know, forgive me if I get wrong every once in a while, but, you know, uh, you can't be right about this stuff all the time when you're trying to predict events before people do them. You know what I'm saying? I'm just using my mind and, you know, uh, like what people are telling me on the news, what people are telling me on different sites, what, uh, what I'm seeing for myself. You know, I'm just using... Making deductions, man. Uh, going off what I know to the best of my ability. You know, I'm not out here just trying to uh, push false information, false rumors, or anything like th anything like that. That's you know, like today, show you the chemtrail forecast is clear. Hey, <laughs> I'm not lying. I'm not playing with you. Ooh, almost thought that was sun dogging or camboing for a second there, but uh. Yeah, man, it's crazy stuff, though. You know, uh, I imagine uh, there'll be more crazy stuff as time goes on. Wow, that kind of looks like a like a person there flying like Superman. <laughs>